the river could talk, it would speak volumes. One of the really neat things about the Pocomoke River was its use as, you know, as a part of the Underground Railway. You know, these runaway slaves would come north, be smuggled north up the eastern shore to Snow Hill, and then they would be brought up the Pocomoke River and actually through the swamp here into Lower Sussex County, Delaware, and then north into New Jersey, where they became free men. So that's one really neat aspect of this river. The other being its great natural history. The natural history is really fascinating and, and makes, this, makes this river extremely unique. It makes me appreciate the river and what this river has witnessed, you know, just over the eons of time. You know, it was an idyllic place to grow up, to have, a, to have basically have this river in your backyard. When I was a kid, any given afternoon in the spring through fall, our mom would pack us a lunch and send us out. And so, you know, it was no big deal for us to throw a canoe across our shoulders, a couple of us, and take it down to the river. And we'd spend, you know, we'd spend all day. We'd be eight, nine, ten hours out on the river paddling, swimming, fishing. It was a, a great place to grow up. We were free. We, were, we had the freedom to, to go where we wanted and to do what we wanted. Slow, peaceful, contemplative. It's a great place to lose yourself. This to me is a spiritual experience. That's what it's all about for me. It's exactly what it is.